what happened in Plateau State last weekend and early part of this week, it's sad. It's disappointing that the circle of violence and bloodshed has been visited again on the peaceful people of the Plateau. Plateau State has become not just killing fields through the years, but now a land flowing with rivers of blood. This is history repeating itself. In 2010, Dogona Howard took place. Over 500 people were killed in a single day. And this has been a pattern that has continued between 2010 and through now. Almost every time somebody is killed in the villages, not one village, two villages, three villages. In fact, last weekend attacks, 11 villages were attacked almost simultaneously over a prolonged period of days. Why is this so? Why? We need to understand these killings. This is another Boko Haram in disguise. Fulani hearts men. It's Boko Haram in disguise. The same Fulani people that have been living peacefully with the farmers suddenly have changed from using sticks to tent their cows, to rear their cows, all of a sudden going to the farmlands, killing farmers, surrounding whole villages, wiping out Christian farmers, killing their wives, killing their children, burning their homes, displacing them. Very clearly an agenda is emerging. Why just? For the simple reason that these attacks began in Jos, spread to other parts of Nigeria, particularly the Middle Belt, and it's now coming back to Jos with mass horrible killings in large numbers taking place, a dozen villages wiped out within days. It's a pointer. It's a reality. Because Jos is the epic center of Christianity. Plateau State is the epic center of Christianity in the north, in the Middle Belt, and significantly Nigeria. Jos is the miniature Nigeria. And when you begin to kill people in the rural areas and also in the cities, it's a pointer that ethnic cleansing is taking place. And unless something is done, Christianity, Christians, in Nigeria will become history. Also, we need to understand that all these attacks and killings, depopulation, decimation of Christians and ethnic nationalities in the Middle Belt areas points to something in 2019, the coming elections of 2019. Now, in 2015, we were told that the security situation can only be handled by the current APC government and particularly by the military strongman, though retired, General Muhammad Buhari. But Buhari came with a promise to silence Boko Haram. Right now, we've gone beyond just having dealing with Boko Haram, but now we're having two hydra-headed demons who are killers in our mixed Boko Haram and Fulani Hartsmen. And so when you have plateau destabilized with these killings, Benue, Adama, Taraba, Southern Kaduna, all of these areas, and all we keep getting is fire brigade approach by the government to stop this crisis, and the killings are persisting. How can elections, peaceful elections, be possible in 2019? Something needs to be done to arrest these killings if Nigeria is to remain a united, one indivisible country country.